we finna watch this young combat cast. I just gotta find a point where they're not talking. But guys, I have not watched this shit just for anybody who's like, why is this, you know, why are you watching it so late? Uh, his wake up attacks and a bunch of his strings. You can see here, this is his back two. You just hit a really quick mid. You can hit confirm. And then this one's really good. It's four two. It has really good range. Are these turning variations? A couple of options. I kind of skipped a lot of the talking, so I don't know what uh, if they is a counter talked about that. The main reason I wanted to show it is it's really gross to me. It feels really painful. This, this cut freaks me. He also uses his powers in his normal. Oh, let me see that one more time. Gross to me. It feels really painful. This, this cut. Okay. Freaks me. He also uses his powers in his normal attack. You can see here is his 4 4, which is like a sweet kick where he knocks you down. And he has a back three where he literally surfs on a wave. And then he has this really cool back one four. And the neat thing is this, you can delay it and then appear on the other side of them. So you can oh, choose cool, to switch actually. sides or not. I wonder if it's Now we're showing his throws. And this is notable because uh, like a few characters, he has two crushing blows, one on each throw. And they're done with the, the standard requirement. Bro, he has KB throws and this is both directions. I to because I think it's extremely nasty. He actually impales their own hand. Awesome. So that's just his, his general sort of movement. The alternative style, variations, sort of okay. Stuff yeah. Let's take that segue and take a look at some of his uh, default special moves. So first up is the around the world kick. I, to me, this is the classic thing. Though. Yeah, that is classic. That's canon. In this game, one of the new things that we show that he's actually kicking you through a portal and you're coming out the other end. So the move finally makes sense. I, that sort of makes sense. He also has yeah, actually, ball, it never made sense before. Like, how the fuck would you end up on the other side? I zoom to drop. And it's kind of like Raiden's command. You can use it to just punish or uh, stick. Oh, that does a lot of corner carry. And it has a crushing blow if he goes full screen. Wait, it always it always puts him on the other side, though. I don't if know if I like that. Combo, you I feel like you should control that. that to punish you. And then lastly, here, he has this really cool projectile. I think this is one of the neat things about him. It's a very fast. Good recovery, high attack, but he has two different ways to amplify it. He can either let it hit, stick in them, then amplify, and then he gets. Right. Then he has keep, one let's more keep going with that one. And this is his evaporate, where he literally turns into a pillar of water, and he then becomes invincible. Projectiles and even normal attack will just pass by him. That's so the coldest move he has, to be honest. Or hit him as he's coming out of it. Pretty awesome and trolly. So you can't do shit when he has that? I'm guessing he's punishable when he gets out of it. Awesome. That that water move is great. I loved it when I first saw it in the trailer. And, and yeah, it looks awesome. Kotal just gets bodied, so that was fun. Um, Kotal, he's always getting bodied. Always getting bodied. Um, uh, up next, let's, let's take a look at the first variation of Ray. So this variation is all about... You finally watch it six days later? Yeah, I'm late, bro. The water realm. And he gets this new move. Bro, this costume is fire. Whoa. Him. And it's like a big full screen. Well, not full screen, but like half screen slash. It's got good. Rains out. Nah, slash. bro. I'm watching the combat cast because I have yet and to watch it. And you can actually do it in the air. And what's Ooh, cool that shit, is you can do it fire. two different ways. You can go straight across or you can go down. That shit fire. And it's very, very quick. And you can amplify that he gets the second hit. Then he gains this portal. And once he has this on screen, it'll absorb projectiles. As you can see. It's kind of like Enchantress. And the That's literally that like Enchantress. To move around. So you can put the portal out, and then you can like go behind it. I don't know if y'all remember, but Enchantress front, had a move like that. And it's like going to absorb any projectiles. And if he absorbs and two, the crushing blow is loaded. And the next time he gets the flash, he's going to get big damage. So that's an interesting way of... We've had, you know, uh, projectile parries in the past, which this isn't. Hmm. But it, it is another way of controlling how someone uses a projectile against you. Like, you're playing against Sub-Zero, and all he wants to do is freeze you. You put that in front of you, you still have range of motion, and he's scared to throw anything at you. Exactly. And then, as Derek said, he has all these special moves that have really good range, and then that complements it. He gets them to calm down and not do their zoning, and then he can kind of do the slash or, you know, his Qatar, Qatar toss and stuff like that that regulate all that full-screen space. Yeah. 
the range on the quantum slice is just absolutely man ridiculous. i ain't like, trying to watch them talk bro full screen and then when you put the rift up you can try and i want to uh, see raw gameplay at uh the first part of rain variation 2 all right variation 2 let me see it demigod hold so, up is that really the name this, uh, advancing palm strike and what's neat is you can actually delay it you can delay it just a second what's you can delay it for a real long time and get a touch and blow or you can cancel the delay and actually uh <laughs> Control. Take a look at nah, that one. They're about to go. Okay. Then he has this splash move, and this actually leaves him standing, and rain gets advantage. You can use it to end uh, strings, but it also respans if they're in the air. So after a juggle combo, you can do it, and then that prevents them from having any knockdown at all. So this. So that's what rain looks like. I don't really think I've ever seen his face in my life. Oh, cool. Good. Uh, uh, now we have no, we have one more. Yeah. It was second part of Variation 2. Let's take a look at that. And so this is his anti-air splash, where he squirts this water out, and this is awesome for preemptive anti-airing. If you, with a jump, if you think a jump's coming, you can absolutely regulate the air. If the anti that you Oh, that's kind of fire. So what's really cool is this doesn't conflict with the Around the World tip. And that means he gets pretty swaggy combos, because you get two different combo things. Ooh, okay. So there's a lot. If you want to use two bars, you can really get big damage. And and let's take a look at uh, variation three. Rain check. First off, this costume is awesome. I love the hood. So first, you get this tidal wave, which is a really quick low with great, deceptively great range. With the amplifies it, it has a hundred active frames. And this is also great for people that like to duck. And then he also gets the classic MK Trilogy water bubble. MK Trilogy? Uh, I have never, uh, I've so never played or seen that game in my life. You can use the tidal wave, and that's going to regulate you know, mid-screen. Uh, mid and the neat thing about the bubble is when he amplifies it, he can choose which direction they're going to fall. He gets four different options. So he can throw them back, over his head. Oh, that's uh, basically what up, it is? Yeah, he's had that Or down off. and bounce. And it's four different reactions. So four different ways to combo them. You could throw them out of the corner. You could throw them into the corner. Ooh. You could do max damage. You can get really good OP. There's all these Jeez. different options. For how I'm really interested to see what his other ones look like.